so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into these and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, he is this Bruce is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 147 pounds. Fighting the Palace Verdes, California, USA Monster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. underway and we've got a strike he is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman oh made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Went for the inside leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He's going after the head. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. 
All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Please kick to the body is blocked. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Nice body kick there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Big leg kick land. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Three minutes now, round one. And they separate. Oh, his nice. opponent's gotta be more urgent here. That's gonna hurt. Gotta get out of there. Strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your point. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. I mean, how many can he take? Under a minute now to go. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? You know when to hold him? No when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Head kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice body. Powerful leg kick lands. They continue to exchange. Nice job staying busy here in the clinch. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round. DC, a lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. They got him whipping his hip into that kick. Oh man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 
nice move and punch. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Look at him drive his chin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice sneaky head kick. Just over three minutes to go. Counters with a right hand. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, misses with the jab. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful body shot lands right under the elbow. Let's get going now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? And it shows. He loaded up with the right too. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice. Sneaky head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Devastating uppercut. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position. Got another beautiful takedown. Can't take many of those. You better check. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, look at the set up the head kick, but he misses. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Just a slip there. Oh, nice job to block the kick. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Whiffs on that offering. Collar tie. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Ooh-wee! Ooh what a right hand 
by the Superman. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice head kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Big head kick land. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Liver kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Lee gets caught with that punch. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. He's able to slip the left there. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Big head kick land. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, and he caught the kick. And he continues to work the body here. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big body kick land. Able to check that kick as well. Big punch land to the middle. Beautiful head kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Beautiful body kick. That right hand hurt him a little Back bit. Back and forth we go. Well, missed on that one. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Now a knee to the body. Nice leg kick land. He loaded up there on that high kick. Here's a high takedown. Oh, straight right. Big punch land. Ooh. Block that kick to the body. Big body kick. Big kick land. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. 
A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Nice kick. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a head kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Just out of the range with that right hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Real nice body kick lands. Whips on the right hand. There's no tell on that leg kick. Great punch. Back and forth we go. What a body kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Big kick. A little single collar tie there. You don't know when that leg. Oh, would you look at this? An Imanari roll right into a heel hook. You don't see that every day. It's flashy, it's unorthodox, but proven to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. He might get a finish here. Somehow stays in the fight. Oh, right to the mouth. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Uh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ooh, big shot lands. Right hand upstairs. Real quick leg kick. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Big knee to the body. Beautiful strike. Landed a big kick there. Oh! Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. Really driving his shin into the phone spot. Beat his leg up. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Beautiful body kick. 20 seconds left. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big head kick land. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, inside leg kick lands for him, DC. That was beautiful technique. He's beating up both sides of the leg. A lot of times you see guys throwing outside kick. He switched it up now, and he's beating up the inside of his opponent's leg. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, the action continues here and now as our Ready? next round gets Ready? underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Nice. Nice. Blocks the shot. Try to establish that jab. Good punch. Head kick land. Got clip with the right hand. Nice leg kick. Blocks the strike. Pretty good right hand. Big power shot there. Just missing on the high kick there. Big kick lands. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. What a tricky head kick. Good punch, Lance. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. He got the turnover in that kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Ended up on the right there to no avail. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Takedown defense holds up. Big knee land. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Checks the leg kick. Beautiful kick. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Nice head kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Wow. And he caught the kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big head kick. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in and keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, a huge block there. 
Such a fast leg kick. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Oh, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Went for the inside leg kick. Big kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 30 seconds. Oh! oh good catch. Back and forth we go here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice punch land over the top. Final seconds of this fight. Real sneaky body kick. What a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Monster! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interaction. 